Hey everyone, my name is Jay and my name is Josh and I want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the notification button so that you can be aware whenever we post a defined, inspiring and godly content. It doesn't bite. What doesn't bite? The button. They don't bite. See? You see? Does it bite? No. It doesn't bite. I, I, I think they get it. They get it. No blood. No blood. No glory. What was that all about? What are you doing with the knife? Did you kill my mother? Oh no. 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 Passed out and next now I was on the bed. It looked so real. Because you created a false reality. But why you're going through a lot, son? Well, you get over it soon. See, Martins, you need Jesus. Jesus is the one that fixes broken people. He said in his word, he said, Come to me, all your view with heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Guy, I've never been high before. Okay. I heard that thing is dope. Like, you got it from Dubai. Martins. Sir. Have I given you your answer? No, Dad. You've given me more questions. Oh, oh God. So, to answer your question, I got myself high and messed up to escape the reality of having a father who is either a ritualist or a psychopath. What exactly do you want? I want to sit on a position that sits leaders in position. As for you, meet me here by 12 midnight. Is that the key? Call him! Again! What happened back there? It's flopped. What do you mean it flopped? Everything was in order. The plan was set. So, so, so what happened? His father came in and messed up everything. His father? Yes. That is, that is not possible. Why? Because his father is far away in Lagos. He planned his whole thing. He set it up. And so, 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 come up with another lie. This man knew everything. He knew the plan and he came specifically to warn Martins. You must be kidding. I am not a kid. I saw what I saw. He looked me straight in the eyes and asked who sent me. What? He told Martin some people are watching me. Damn it. Who is he? You tell me. Ah, the room was too hot for me. 
I just couldn't wait another second. What is going on? I am hoping you tell me. Did you by chance catch the person's name? Uh, I can't remember. But I guess he's his father. They had intense disagreements. And he asked him to leave the house. Why would Sonia pull this kind of stunt? When am I collecting my money? Get out of my car. Not until you hand me my check. You don't deserve anything from me. You get your money when the job is done. Understood? I tried my best. Your best wasn't good enough. You get your money when the job is done. Now get out. Martins, I came to apologize. No, no. Keep your apologies to yourself. You humiliated me in front of my guest. I didn't humiliate you, Martins. I saved you. I don't need a savior. I don't need anyone watching my back. I'm good all by myself. Thank you. Martins, uh, can, we, can we go in so that we talk? No, it's not possible. It's not. Martins, it is really late in the night, and I don't know anyone around here. But I'm going right, I don't care. I don't. Martins, you want me to spend the night on the streets? You want to throw away our 16 years relationship because of a minor misunderstanding? No, you threw away 16 years relationship because of because because you took money. You took money from my father. Martins, let me feed your ears with the lies it wants to hear. Okay, I collected the money. I betrayed you. Your father sold you for 30,000 Naira and I bought you over. Hmm. That was the best deal I've ever had. <laughs> Martins. Now, let me tell you the truth. The absolute truth. Several years ago, Jesus was sold for 30 pieces of silver. In the midst of this, one of his trusted disciples betrayed him. Oh God. In the midst of this, his father abandoned him on the cross. While he had to shout, My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? In the midst of this, Martins, Jesus was not shaken because of his love for us. But to shake with anger and bitterness. Because he don't have love. Jesus was held on the cross, not by the nurse. He was held on the cross because of his love for you and me. But you chose to, 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 to bury his love and exchange his love for bitterness. Now, let's face the reality. Let's face the truth. Let's face the real problem. Because your father is not the real problem. Your mother is not the real problem. I am not the problem. Martins, you are your own problem. Fine. Fine. Then leave me alone with my problem. Don't call me. Don't visit me. Stay away from my business. Stay away from my life. Martins. Tell me what's going on. What kind of question is that? You are supposed to be telling me what's going on. Did you visit Martins today? Oh my goodness. Daddy, what kind of question is that? Answer me, Sonia. Why would I answer a question I don't even understand in the first place? 
Then who paid him a visit today to one of our plans? What? Just as my men were about busting in, someone came in and warned him of our operation. He sent the girl out. Who is he? That's what I'm asking you. Who is he? What did the girl say? She said the man looked like his father. Mm. That's why I'm so confused. Do you have anything to do with this? Martins has two father figures. Damn! That old fool. Martins, you want me to spend the night on the streets? You want to throw away our 16 years relationship because of a minor misunderstanding? No, you threw away 16 years relationship because of because because you took money. You took money from my father. Jesus was heard on the cross, not by the nurse. He was heard on the cross because of his love for you and me. But you chose to bury his love and exchange his love for bitterness. Because your father is not the real problem. Your mother is not the real problem. I am not the problem. Martins, you are your own problem. What was wrong with me? What was wrong with me? Why did I push him out of the house? The man does not deserve to be in the street. What was wrong? What was wrong with me? Why did I push him out of the house? <laughs> what was wrong with me? What was I thinking? <laughs> what was I thinking? What was, what was wrong with me? Now. Lola, Lola. You eh? Lola. My no man, no man. Yes, no man, no man. One by two, yeah. Two hundred. What's in the apple now? I know they see you around. Don't be your die, I did die. Yeah. <laughs> you don't start. I bet give me two hundred naira, so you for you. No man, no man. Okay. Lola, Lola. You eh? <laughs> I beg plenty to you. Okay, I beg every puma for my Flora. Flora! I understand. Flora, baby. Don't go, don't go. Flora, anything for the boy. Nothing for you. You don't start your wala, baby. Flora, Flora. Flora, Flora. Go help me put two hundred naira. Yeah, sit down. Just sit. You, you and that girl they talk. It be like you say be and where where. Which girl? I mean that girl. We just live now now. Ah, Flora. My bag was not passing. I should be my passing. Five and six, one on one. Eh? 
Tell her when the Macaranta, which school she did? School. Ah, hey, that, that one on the go school, that one Sabi school. She don't know anything, anything. Ordinary A to Z, way me eyes Sabi, she don't know. That one a prostitute. Ah, first grade. Ah, Shara, first grade prostitute, professional, certified. Uh, it be like say we now close. We are close gone. Ah, sir, we close gone. We close. Five and six, one on one. We date together. She my party. Tell me, say you go get her number. Baba, where do you want to use her number? That's on our business now. That's on our business. <laughs> <laughs> Baba, see, get a show. Also, you know the tire. <laughs> eh, Baba, you see, that her number, eh? Now, private number. She know they give everybody, but as far as me and now, we day five and six, one, one on one. So, <laughs> me, I get them, trade by bad things for food reason only. I go dash you. <laughs> I go dash you. <laughs> Hello? Do you still want your money? Ah, yes, of course. I want my money. Then you have to finish what you started. Ah, I know if you go back to school, though. I know if you humiliate myself and wear uniform with little kids young enough to be my daughters. Relax. We both know you don't have work certificates. Ah, if you have any other idea, let me know. You're going back to that school. God forbid. Then forget about your money. It's forgotten. Money not if you define my self-worth. But can two million naira refine your self-worth? You say what? You heard me. So be a good student, get your school uniform, get your bought to school tomorrow morning. Yes. Yes, sir. Let me have some suya okay. I prefer giza, giza. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Costa. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Excuse me, sir. I, I know what I'm about to say may be very strange and unusual. I actually came from Oshobo to Ibadan here to look for somebody. But it didn't just work out. It didn't work out. And uh, I've tried around to get uh, one of these public vehicles. I couldn't get any. Can you be kind enough to give me a lift to the park? I will sleep there. And first thing tomorrow morning, I get a vehicle that will take me down to him. I'm sorry. I may not be able to help you. Please excuse me. Let me excuse me.
thank you very, very, very much. Um, my name is Mr. Degbola. Thank you for um, saving me. Normally I should have driven off without looking back, but uh, I just became restless and uneasy in my spirit. And I don't just know why. That must be the Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm a new convert. I just gave my life to Jesus. Wow. Really? Yeah. My son uh, led me to Christ. Is he a pastor? No. He's just a student, 16 year old student. Um, now he calls himself my spiritual father. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey. His teacher preached to him. God bless that teacher. Huh? Amen. Oh. Mm. I will take you to my house now and um, if you don't mind, you will sleep over and then by tomorrow morning, I'll take you to the park. Ah, this means a lot to me. Very, very, very oh, much. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Daily? Yes, sir. Please, can I have a charger to power my phone? I need to call my wife. Sure. Yes, sir. Let me help you with it, sir. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. I actually charge it to the fullest in the morning. Yeah. I thought it would last me all day. But unfortunately, it died. The very point I needed it most. And I got stranded. Huh? You need a power bank. Hmm. 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 I can't agree more. I can't agree more. Mm. A lot of Christians are stranded because they've not been charged up by the word of God. Mm. They are like the five foolish virgins. They have the lamps, but there's no oil in them. Mm. The wise one, however, took extra oil. Every Christian needs that extra oil, that power bank, so as not to be stranded. I don't understand. It's like this, Dad. You know how effective our inverter is, right? Yeah. And when light goes off, it comes on and everything continues as normal. Imagine if we didn't have the inverter and light goes off, we'll just remain in darkness. God's word is like the inverter. Mm. We need to constantly get ourselves charged by it mm. as often as possible mm. so that when the Nepa of this life tries to take our light away, we will have the inverter of God's word to fall back on. <laughs> Mr. Adibola, this your boy is very intelligent. Another point. <laughs> I'm on fire right now. Another point <laughs> is that we must consider the kind of load we put on our inverter. If we put every load on the inverter, it will only drain it of its power. You know, um, gadgets like the iron, water heater, and the fridge. You know, when you put these gadgets on the inverter, they drain its power fast. In the same way, the devil has filled the air with so many power draining content. For instance, some content on the social media can drain the spiritual inverter of a child of God. We must be careful and discerning. Pornography is another example. It drains you of power and leaves you empty. And that is why the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1, it says saying that we are compassed about 
with great cloud of witnesses. He said, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Exactly, sir. Exactly. <laughs> Mr. Nicola, I must confess, I've got a spiritual father in this one. Please, please. <laughs> Whenever you see a Christian giving excuses for backsliding, that Christian is like my phone. Drain of power and it's empty. So, if I'm drained of God's power, how do I get recharged? The Bible. The Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not faint. They shall walk and not get weary. Look at my phone over there. It is waiting on the electricity for power. Unfortunately, this generation is made up of Christians who are running instead of waiting. Well, I don't mean to judge, but Dele's teacher is a perfect example of a stranded Christian. He preached to my son and God used him tremendously for this family. But I was so confused today. Why? The way he shouted on some students just because they invited him to the fellowship. I see a problem in this, but with your simple analogy, I think my doubts and confusion are, are taken care of. I feel so bad for this teacher. Well, Deli and I prayed for him a while ago. I guess he's, he's drained of battery life. Hmm. Uh, talking about battery life, uh, Deli, please help me check my phone. It must have gotten enough power so that I can call my wife. Okay, sir. There is an issue, sir. Ah. What is with that? What is with that? I I forgot to switch on the socket. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Baba, we actually need to address people who are connected but not empowered. They are waiting, but they are not getting anything. Yes. They are the most dangerous. Just like this boy. Soon I will come and tell me it's my spiritual father. Uh, but, but daddy, it's still on record. My daddy to Christ. Go on, go on, go on, charge the phone. Go on, charge the phone. <laughs> 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 Hello, dear. Ha, ah, Mama. I've been expecting your call. Um, my phone ran out of battery life. Why didn't Martins give you his charger? Ah, Martins, he won't allow me into his house. Uh, what? He didn't allow me in. Y you mean? W wait a minute. W where are you? It's a long story, but I'm fine. Martins pushed you out? I, I didn't say he pushed me out. I said he didn't allow me into his house. And he knows we don't have any relatives or friends over there. Mama, I don't see it that way. So you were stranded? I'm settled. I'm fine now. After all we've done for him. So he pushed you out late in the night. I will explain when we see you. For now, I just need you to know that I'm fine. They are not fine. I am not fine. <laughs> After all we have done for that boy, we took him like our son. We loved him and gave him everything. You left this home because of him. Is this how he pays us? Everything will be sorted out. I'm in a friend's house and he's taking very good care of me. Which friend? I met him today. God connected us miraculously and himself and the son are taking very good care of me. Baba, promise me you will be home first thing tomorrow. I promise. 
Then promise me that this will be the last time you will leave your home looking for a boy who is willing to throw you out of his house. Mama. We are done with Martins. But he's our son. And, um... I know my son. Bero is my son. And he will never throw us out of his house. He won't. <laughs> you see, I understand how you feel. We must not take any hostage now. Because Martins is passing through a lot. And we need to... Good night, Daddy. I thought we were talking about Martins. I'm done talking about Martins. My mind is made up. Please, get home first thing tomorrow. I will. Good night, Daddy. Father, when the prodigal son was lost, when hope was lost, even when he was at the lowest point of his life, you brought him home. Father, I pray for Martins. He is my son. He is my son. He is lost. Father, bring him back. Let your grace find him out. Bring him back. Lord, Mr. Martins needs you. He is stranded. Come to his rescue. Amen. Fill him up. Yes, Quench the thirst of his soul. In Jesus' name. Renew his strength. There is power in the name of Jesus. Let the resurrection power of Jesus Christ raise him up now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Good morning, sir. Ah, Dele, good morning. Ah, Dele, how far with this car now? Ah, you're supposed to have finished since now. Ah, okay. Mr. Adibola, from the depth of my heart, I would love to say thank you. It means so much to me. I am very glad to do this. And um, whenever you need my service as a lawyer, please just let me know. Uh, okay. This is my card. Let's thank you. Yeah, no, it's okay, it's okay. Dele, I appreciate you. Yes. Keep on growing in the faith. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. You are coming with us? No, sir. I'll go with public transport, sir. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Father and the Lord should go and follow public transport. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, open that gate. Let's go. It's very true. What an intelligent young man. Hello? Hello, Martins. Good morning. How are you? I'm very fine, sir. Where are you? We've been looking for you. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm about leaving. I'll be in school in about 15 minutes. Okay, please hurry up. Some news reporters are here wanting to talk to you. Ah, <laughs> to me? Yes, they are here to interview you on how you were able to rescue that boy from molestation and assault. And also your opinion on future preventive measures. You know, this is a very big opportunity for this school. You know what I'm driving at? Uh, yes, yes, I do, sir. I do. Okay, please, be fast. Be here as soon as possible. Uh, right, right away, sir. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yes, he'll be here. Um, this is Mr. Martins. He's one of our most hardworking teachers in this school. He's very dependable and loved by all. You see, in this school, we don't just employ just anybody. We go for seasoned teachers. All our staff are well-trained. You see, we take the best to give the best. Over to him. 
Mr. Martins, yes, ma we want to find out how you were able to expose molestation mm -hmm. and the steps you took to ensure that the young boy gets better every day. Because for my investigation, we were told that the young man is doing exceptionally well academically. We would like to learn from you, sir. Thank you very much. I'm the kind of person that believes in putting others first. I have a very high taste for excellence. You know, I believe in putting the need of others above mine. So that's the kind of person I am. What is the secret of delays deliverance? Research has shown that it takes a lot of time for young people to come out of the negative impact of molestation. The young man delay was fast. We also gather that he is doing well academically, unlike before. Tell us the secret. Yeah, yeah. Um, Self-realization, self-discovery, and self-motivation. These are the three factors that come to play in daily deliverance. Can you briefly explain these three factors that you have pointed out? First of all, self-realization. Those who are molested should realize that they are molested. You need to come to that realization that, yes, I know I am molested. Then self-discovery. There are virtues and, and, and great gifts in the lives of every person that must be discovered. You must discover your gifts. You know, then self-motivation, you need to motivate yourself. Tell yourself that I may be molested, but you no, know, I will not stay molested. I need to get up. That's where the hope factor comes in. This is ridiculous. Where did this boy get all this nonsense from? Self-realization, self-discovery, self-motivation. It did not even mention the power of Jesus Christ. This boy has lost it. Are you not going to say something? I'm um, sorry, mommy. I have nothing to say. Thank you very much, Mr. Martin, for that insightful nudge. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Now, we were told that you'll be relocating to Canada. No, I will not, I'm not relocating. I'll just be traveling for a year or two. But I'm not relocating. Okay. What is the program? about? Uh, it's a partnership program uh, of this great school and the university in Canada. It's all about uh, developing the minds of young people and effective ways that molestation and, and, and assault can be eradicated in Africa. Preparation is on top gear and I cannot wait to be a part of this program. Hey buddy, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I am, Sonia. That boy is relocating to Canada. But he said it's only for a year. Oh, that's a lie. I know my son. Once he leaves this country, he's not going to come back. Whatever it is we are doing, we must do it fast. We are trying our best. Yeah, but your best is not good enough. I hope you realize the urgency of this matter. Once he leaves Nigeria, we are stuck forever. No progress. He is going nowhere, I can assure you. I'm going to do everything in my power to get him. Buddy, I'm depending on you. Today is our last chance. Today is our last hope. Hello? You have only today. Do you understand me? You have only today to get the work done. What is it that you want me to do that I have not done? You have not done anything. Anything. I am doing everything. Me being in this school is everything. Me wearing this useless school uniform is everything. I am tired. If we don't see results today, forget about your money. Ever since I've embarked on this journey, I've always followed others. If you don't see results, then check your others. We heard a lot from Mr. Martins Duro Sonia. He also opened our eyes to three major principles he used to save Dele from the grip of molestation. Now it's time to hear from the horse's mouth. Now, Dele, self realization, self discovery, and self motivation help in saving you from molestation. What? How did this element, self realization, self discovery, and self motivation help in saving you from molestation? Jesus Christ saved me from molestation. Let us remove the God factor and talk about the practical steps you took to getting your deliverance. 
The only practical step I took was that I walked into the saving arms of Jesus Christ. Is that all? He said, come unto me, all of you with heavy load, and I will give you rest. Who said that? Jesus Christ. I gave him my load, and he gave me his rest. So what role did your teacher, Mr. Martins, play? <laughs> Mr. Martins, he introduced me to Jesus. Is that all? That is all. That boy messed up everything today! Ah! Look, I am a Christian. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. But what that boy did to me, to you, and even to the school, is not good at all. I am so disappointed. We are trying to stabilize the dwindling image of the school. Now you messed everything up. No one will take us serious again. You should have trained him before bringing him on to national TV. Ah! Self-motivation, self-discovery, and... Uh, self-realization, sir. Self-realization! Your points were commonsensical enough. Ah. Sir, so I will deal with him. Do, please. Do! Now explain yourself. Explain what, sir? Why you went to national TV and embarrassed me? You embarrassed the school. I did not embarrass you, sir. Far from it. I spoke on the things you taught me about. You were meant to buttress my points. Self-realization, self-discovery, self-motivation. Why didn't you just build on that? Because you did not build me up on those things, sir. My discovery, my realization, my motivation came only from the power of God's word that you exposed me to. If anything has changed from that, it's not me. It's not God's word that I carry. I think... I think it's you, sir. What? Go to your class. I'm through with you. Go to your class. I need to know what's going on. Now listen to me when I give you an instruction. Your duty is to obey it. Last night, my dad picked up an elderly man. What? He was stranded, so he brought him to our house. Though I was meeting him for the very first time, that man is the most pleasant, caring man I ever met. He gave me his phone to charge because it was out of power. I plugged it to the socket but forgot to switch on the power. It was there for a long time. The old man needed his phone. He wanted to speak with his wife. It was when I went to pick it that I realized my mistake. The phone was plugged to the socket, but it was not connected to power. For the first time, that scripture, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 5, made sense to me, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such, turn away. Mr. Martins, how do you want God to use you like that phone to call the world and spread his message if there is no power inside of you? What? What did you say, sir? That old man. That old man was... was Papa Guerrero. How did you know this, sir? Because I pushed him out of the house. Who is it to you, sir? He's my father. 
I pushed my father out of the house. What kind of a man am I? Who does that? It's okay, sir. You are going through a lot right now. But God understands. I, 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 I went out, I, I went searching for him, but I couldn't, I couldn't find him. That man has been the nicest person to me. I push him out of the house. Why am I so hateful? Why? Why? What is wrong with me? Sir, can I pray for you? Go to your class. It's so amazing how God connects people. Those strangers yesterday were more of a family than the boy who we thought was part of the family. And to think you have never met them before. Yet, they took you to their house, gave you food to eat, and a room to sleep. That can only be God. Hmm. You have been home since morning. Hmm. I'm not going to say anything to all I've been saying. Uh, yes, you are correct. We need to see our son. You mean Beiru? I mean Martins. Don't mention that name here again. <sighs> I'm not at peace until I see Martins. You are going nowhere. Please, please. You are going nowhere. You see, he's in danger. You are in danger. <sighs> see, he has nobody, but you have a family. What if you go to him this time around, he throws you out of his house, uh, you, you, you get stranded, and something happens to you? Uh, God forbid. Nothing will happen. Nothing. It was a warning. God was warning you. Stay away from his business. I know you love him. But what can you do to someone that has refused to accept your love? Please, mommy, let me go, please. I allowed you the last time. But this time around, I won't. I'm very sorry. Please, you can't go. You can't go. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Flora. How are you? I'm very fine, thank you, sir. Mm. I can see that you're getting better. I want to say a very big thank you, sir. Ah, what did I do? Yesterday, you allowed me into your house. Oh, uh, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. I also want to um, tell you how sorry I am because of you know, that old man that tried to drive you out of my house, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I'm sorry for coming into your house unannounced, sir. Uh, yes, yes. Uh... Right, get a seat. Right. Yesterday, your phone rang 
and you looked at the color and then turned to me and you started saying some, some strange things, you know? You were talking about a teacher who molested you and um, you sitting right in front. You know, when you were saying all these things, I was so confused because I thought you were actually talking about me, you know? That is why I'm here, sir, to explain everything to you. There's something I need to tell you, sir. It is highly confidential, sir. I can't say it here, sir. Why? This place is too open, sir. Okay, I can guarantee you, but no one is listening to us. Sir, I still can't say it here. Then where do you want us to go? Mm. Sir, can we go upstairs? In the empty classroom? Flora is almost closing her eyes. I really have a lot of things to share with you, sir. I don't feel secure saying it here, sir. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Please, ma. I'm looking for Mr. Martins. Oh, he followed a female student upstairs. Upstairs. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. Well, is this place not too far? Uncle Martins, what I want to tell you, no one should hear it. It's very confidential. Please come in. Because uh, I'm not comfortable here. Why? Are you ashamed of me, Uncle? No. So why are you not comfortable? Well, for obvious reasons. This is an abandoned classroom. Brother, what do you want to say? I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Somebody gave me a message for you. He says when I see you, I should move close to you. I should do like this. I should do like this. And I should grab your hand. Help me!
This is by far the strangest thing that has ever happened this year. A teacher, Mr. Martins, who was a wild praise for his courage in saving a boy from molestation and assault, was just recently accused by a student for attempted rape. Can we call this a twist of fate? As the development occurred not less than an hour after the said teacher by the name Mr. Martin Durosonia was applauded by the same school that now condemned him. <laughs> Good job. Good job. At last! At last! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> So, 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 what about the girl? Oh, give her a fake check. Uh, and then? Take her down. Good idea, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is by far the strangest thing that has ever happened this year. A teacher, Mr. Martins, who was a wild place for his courage in saving a boy from molestation and assault, was just recently accused by his students Daddy. who attempted rape. Daddy. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. That it's a setup. I wanted him to explain the things that he thought earlier, but he said the classroom is not good enough because I will not be able to ask some questions, and I followed him. Get the car ready for me. To rescue my son. There are hopes and dreams in the heart of every man. There is a desperate wanting for one thing or the other. Jealousy, envy, and hatred fill the air It is nothing compared to what we are yet to uncover But as for people of God Standing on a new reality A solid rock that never fails Far beyond the darkness And over all principalities And far beyond the present evil that we see Men for God, but they go for one thing or another. Riches, fame, and power are the only gods they know. The sky is gray, I see the gathering of the vultures. But as for people of God, standing on a new reality, a solid rock that never fails. Far beyond the darkness and overall principality. in this world no, 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 no. 